IS Relics, my name is Tim. And welcome back to Astro Relict. Another day, another night, another clay night, and tonight's gonna be the Pelican Nebula. I'm using an H Alpha filter to capture the hydrogen glow in the Pelican Nebula close to the star Dinip. As for now, everything is running pretty smooth. I used my Batnov mask to get the stars in focus, which is a very time consuming thing using an H alpha filter because it's the transmission is almost zero for any normal star. And it take, takes a lot of time to get the focus right, but I think I got it. And everything else pretty smooth as well. Focus, focusing, framing, PhD is, is running very good tonight, so I'm I'm lucky about that. And the only thing, another photo finished. The only thing tonight, I have to do a meridian flip on the mount. I checked Stellarium to get the time when the Pelican Nebula is crossing the meridian. It's about 1.20 a.m. So I'm gonna have to do this flip as well. So here we are in APT, probably the best software to capture deep sky images with your DSLR and your CCD, but I don't have a CCD. On the bottom left here you can see the temperature of the camera sensor is now at 30 degrees Celsius, pretty hot. And I don't know if you can see much in the recording here, but this is my image of the Pelican Nebula right now, the raw image. It doesn't look like much, but... If we stretch it, you can see the hydrogen glow and the black side of the North American Nebula here. I'm using the magnifier tool here to check that the stars are always in focus and nothing is changing, so this star is pretty good in focus, so that's good. Everything here, as usual. But this time I'm using a new laptop, I got my own astrophotography laptop, finally. So the image destination is the PC, not the SD card on the camera. And the current plan are 16 frames at ISO, at ISO 800 with 5 minutes exposure time. And PhD. I haven't had a PhD graph, a smooth PhD graph like this in a long time. And over here we can see the profile of the stars. Also to make sure that the stars are in focus. And this peak here in the full width half maximum is at 5.7, pretty good. And everything else here is just... I really don't need this, but it looks cool, it looks technical, so I put it there. The next picture is already running, 210 seconds now. And let's see what we can get out of this night. Maybe I should give a little bit. Maybe I should give a little bit more background information on the Batnov mask. What is a Batnov mask? You might ask. This is a Batnov mask. It's a focusing tool you can use on your telescope with your camera to get the stars sharper than ever before. So first, you get a Batnov mask. They have these pins here and. You put them on top of your refractor, of your, of your telescope. I have a refractor. What you have, I don't know. And you secure it with these pins. And after that you take test images through a camera. These spikes here, let's call them spikes, because they produce diffraction spikes in your image on every star. So you get a bright star. And maybe you can do it in live view if you have a bright star, but since I'm working with the h alpha filter, I need to take images for each focusing round. So these will produce diffraction spikes. You have an X and one center spike. And now it's only the, only the matter of placing this middle spike right between the X. You can go in and out of the focus and the middle spike will change position and if you got it right in the center, your 
The stars are pinpoint sharp. So the weather is definitely not ideal. I guess you can never trust the weather forecast. Just small little clouds going in and out. And I at least hope that I will get two and a half, maybe three hours, maybe three and a half hours of H Alpha, which I can combine. And I don't think that I can share a full blended image at the end of this video because the next night the forecast is looking more than awful and I don't think that I can shoot the RGBs right away so an H alpha image by itself is cool enough I think and so just don't be disappointed if you see a black and white image at the end of this video a little side note it's currently 3 a.m. I stopped the imaging plan because it's getting light again. I am just taking some test images on M31 Andromeda Galaxy just to, just to see how big it is in my refractor with my rig. The first image came in and I was blown away. This is not perfect at all yet. But it will be. Look for yourself.